The Harlem Globetrotters, world famous Harlem Globetrotters, they've been thrilling families and millions of fans for 88 years. Can you believe it's been that long? No. They're back in town this weekend, and we are so excited to have Buckets Blakes with us to give us a preview. Good to have you here. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Yeah, so you've got some new things going on. I mean, with 88 yes. years, you got to reinvent yourself, I guess, right? All, all the time. <laughs> so tell yes. us about the Fans Rule. Well, this is our 2014 Fans Rule World Tour, and what that means is our fans can go to HarlemGlobetrotters.com and there are several rules that they can vote on that will be implemented during each quarter. Um, the three most popular rules with the most votes that I've seen uh, thus far has been our uh, hot hand jersey in which one player from each team will wear a jersey with a, a picture of a flaming basketball on it. <laughs> Anytime they score, it's worth double the points. Mm. And in 2010, we introduced a four-point shot, which is 35 feet away from the basket. So that could be an eight-point play wow. with that jersey on. And we have our make or miss rule. That quarter will start off with two players from each team. Anytime one of those two players score, one of their teammates can enter the game, having a maximum of five, minimum of two. And then we have our trick shot challenge. The head coaches from each team gets three challenge flags. You know the red flags in football that the coaches have. Throw it up, challenge the opposing team to a trick shot. If they make the trick shot, they get five points. If they miss the trick shot, the challenging team gets five points. So uh, those are the three most popular rules, but there are several other rules that you can vote for. The referee comes out at the beginning of the quarter, of each quarter, rips open an envelope and reads the popular rule for that quarter and that's the rule we have to play by. That is so cool. That's that's taking it to the next level and getting fans excited. I've loved the Globetrotters since I was a kid and I saw them in Scooby-Doo. Do you remember that? Oh, of course. Yeah. <laughs> so, I've always thought, okay, this is fun to watch, but you guys literally are some of the best players I've ever seen in my in my life. Have you guys ever thought about maybe challenging an NBA team, say like an NBA championship team? Well, the Globetrotters have did that in the past. Um, that's kind of how we started. The Globetrotters started in 1926. We're 20 years older than the NBA, and the reason why uh, you see African Americans playing in the NBA now is because the Globetrotters broke that color barrier. They beat the all-white Minneapolis Lakers in 1948 and 1949 for the World Championship, and one of those Globetrotters, Nat Sweetwater Clifton, was the first African American to sign an NBA contract in 1950 with the Knicks, thus opening the doors. And then um, we broke the gender barrier as well. We were the first all-men sports team to have a woman play in 1985. 12 women Boom. total in our history, and three of those 12 are currently on the team now. That is so Okay, cool. we want to see a quick trick. Can you show us a how to do trick? something? A quick trick? How much time do I have? I'm not sure. Minute. All right, well, you know, you know we're going to be at the PNC Arena uh -huh. uh, March uh, 2nd okay, at 3 p.m. Okay, I can't do any of that. You could have done that? No. <laughs> oh, oh, you, you were standing trying up, to... Alanda? I'm ready to show you... me something. I can't do oh, any of that. Oh, I thought you told me to do some here. <laughs> yeah. I got one for you. Let me see your finger. You can hold the ball up. No, not that finger. Oh, don't mess up the nails. Yeah, get it, Belanda. Ah! Hold it <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. So we'd definitely like to encourage our fans to go vote and uh, see the popular rules manifest out there. You know, not only that, you get a chance to meet us after the game. We sign autographs for 20 minutes or 30 minutes, actually, before we head into the locker room. So you can meet your favorite player or all the players. Speaking of dancing, uh, Mark Ballas from Dancing with the Stars yeah. put together a dance for us. It's called the Trotter Bounce. And we do it to Ooh. a certain song because, you know, with the happy song you made yeah. a dance to, yeah. Yeah. you know, your moves are based on what he says in the right, song. Right. Well, that's what it is for us Ooh, as well. Oh, I got to look that up. Yeah, so when you all guys right. come so check us out. Thank you so much, Buckets. Thank you. You can catch the Harlem Globetrotters this Sunday at the PNC Arena in Raleigh.